Hey guys, this is Jason from Outdoor Adventures. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to be talking about selfie sticks. As funny as it sounds, um, and the reason being, a couple people have been asking, actually a lot of people have been asking if I actually have someone that walks with me and films while I'm on my outdoor adventures, and I just simply tell them, no, I'm just, you know, I'm holding the camera with a selfie stick and just, you know, hitting record. Um, but I wanted to go over a couple things because I realized that this, as silly as I think selfie sticks are, they've been helping me a great deal because personally I like to hike alone. Um, you know, sometimes I'll go with my friends and enjoy the, their company, but for the most part I like filming and hiking alone and just getting out there by myself and enjoying myself for the weekend or, you know, whatever length of time I'm going to be out on the trip. Now, I personally have been using this, it's called an X-Shot monopod, okay, for the past year and almost a year and a half now, and it has been working out great for me. However, last year in September on my Laurel Highlands through hike, this thing actually broke on the, fir on the second day of my trip, and I was pretty ticked off about it. Uh, the reason being... This metal, you know, after it's exposed to the elements, um, it will wear down and it will, you know, get dirty. And you just need to keep uh, basically machine oil on this thing nonstop to keep it nice and smooth. I mean, it's, I just lubricated this, you know, a couple weeks ago and it's still not as good as it was, you know, whenever I first bought it. So um, this is the X shot. Um, recently, I had a vendor contact me. And by uh, the vendor's name was Levin, and they have products on Amazon. They said they'd send me some stuff, and if maybe I could test it out and review it for them. So I said, sure, you know, I'll take a look at it. So they sent me a couple items, and one of the items was this selfie stick. Now, when I first got it, I'm like, okay, this is way too big. This has to weigh more than this. Surprisingly enough, um, with the same trap, with the same kind of camera mount. This actually beats it by one gram. This is more versatile and more durable than the X-Shot. Now, I want to set up a disclaimer saying anytime, I mean, vendors have been contacting me and I have agreed to take their products and give an honest review and I'm going to stick to my word just because a vendor sent me a product. If their product sucks, I'm going to say it sucks right off the bat. I'm not even going to mess around, okay? This, I thought, wasn't a good product at first, but when I used it, I realized this is a lot more versatile than this, and I want to get into, into why and what I like about this and what I don't like and what I like about this and don't like. So first off, this weighs with the equivalent, um, with the equivalent mount, this weighs one gram less than the X-Shot. This is one of the top rated models on Amazon. This is a fairly new company, and this is one of their newer models. Um, both, both monopods have the quarter-inch screw for attaching it to a tripod mount, which I really like. This did not come with a tripod mount, nor did this. However, for an extra, I think, two bucks, there's a, a black version of this that they actually sell the tripod mount with it. Um, this is designed right out, the, right out of the box for your cell phone. Let me demonstrate that. Basically, it fits any cell phone. You just put it, pop it in, extend it, and there you go. There's your monopod. Say you're hiking alone. There's this awesome scenery you want to check out. You want to, you know, have a picture to remember it by. You can just simply attach it, attach your phone to the, to the monopod, and you can take the picture. Now, also, what they send you this little Bluetooth interface device that goes along with your phone. Once you pair it to your phone, you can simply press this button and it will, and the camera will know that you're trying to take a picture and it will snap a picture of you. So you can Velcro this on to the monopod and simply take a picture and then you can have your picture. Now, what I like, and I, I do like this feature, I use this a lot, Actually, and I wish I would have had this last year because it would have saved me a lot of time because I was just doing the, you know, the old school selfie. Um, and it was a bit cumbersome. And I would have liked to have gotten a better angle. Now, while we're talking about the Bluetooth device, let me, I may as well just show you how it works. OK, 
because I hopefully you guys can see this. All right, so basically we have our Bluetooth interface. We're just going to turn that on by holding it in. Okay, and now we're just going to turn Bluetooth on here and give it a second it will pair. Okay, and then we're going to open up our camera app. Now we're going to slide our phone into the mount. Let me switch it to the front facing camera here. Alrighty. And there we go. Now see all I'm doing here is I'm just pressing the Bluetooth button. And there you go. Real simple. So say you're out on a hiking trip. No one can hold the camera for you to take a picture of yourself and you don't want to go like this and be a dork. So you get one of these and you just simply take your own picture. And you really can't even tell if you hold it correctly. It's pretty neat. I like it. This mount is easily removable. Something that this is not. This is just set up for a quarter inch camera mount. Okay, a quarter inch screw. This has the GoPro style mounting system on it. And whenever I took my action cam, I took the mount off, I realized that this actually fits perfectly in here. So this will work with a GoPro. You can put your screw back in. You take any standard camera that has the tripod mount on the bottom and hook it up and extend it. And now you have a video camera, a point and shoot, and whatever. And if it works with Bluetooth, you can again use the Bluetooth button to take pictures or do video or whatever you wanted to do. So they give you this. This is optional. This I can actually extend and use it like I would this. So let me just show you the weight differences. Okay, and weighing the X shot. It's 4.7 ounces, or 135 grams, weighing the Levin selfie stick with the, with the camera mount, it's 5.1 ounces, or 143 grams, and with this little action camera mount, it ends up being 4.6 ounces, 132 grams. And this actually extends a little farther. The X shot measures in at 31 inches, and the Levin selfie stick measures in at 33 inches, so a couple inches extra. But the big deal is that you can attach an action camera, a point and shoot with the proper bracket, and you can attach your cell phone if you want to take pictures that way. So like I said, it's more versatile. There's really no way to take this off here uh, and attach it and attach something like this onto it. So it really works for me. Um, a couple things that I wish would happen, and I'm going to send the vendor an email. I'm going to send Levin an email asking them to make to see if they can make these changes. I would make the shaft a little bit smaller to basically compare with the X-Shot because I do like the X-Shot size. I just don't like that to take a selfie, I'm not able to do it with this for my camera. I have to always do it with my video camera or with my, with my Nikon, the one that I'm using right now to film this. Um, I like having the option to use my cell phone. I like that versatility of the product. Um, and also this extends two more inches bigger. So I think if they would just um, maybe give you this mount, that would be a plus, and maybe decrease this by, a, you know, maybe 25%, this would be the perfect selfie stick out of these two. I mean... And, oh, and another thing, you don't have to lubricate this. I left this outside for a week, and it's still, it's still perfect. Whereas this one, if I would have left it outside for a week, 
it would have been almost impossible to pull in and pull out, uh, to push in and pull out. So, um, guys, this is, I'll put links in the video description if you guys want to check this out. Um, they're a good company. They try to respond to all Amazon requests. I actually checked some of their other products. Um, most of them aren't really relevant to me. They sell like um, uh, these selfie sticks. They sell cell phone accessories, and they also sell um, like surf protectors, which they sent me one of those as well. It works out pretty good, too. It has four USBs on it. It works excellent. Um, I actually charge my Xbox controllers with it. But I'm getting off a little off topic here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I can't say anything bad about this except that it's just a little too big. Um, the price difference between these two... This is $21, um, but you don't get this. With the GoPro mount only, this is $29, and you can't revert back to um, this little uh, point-and-shoot quarter-inch screw. So it's kind of a toss-up. I, I really like them both. I don't like that I have to lubricate this every trip with machine oil, and I like that this it feels more secure. I mean, this... This isn't going anywhere. I mean, you can abuse this. You can't really abuse this. You have to really take care of this. So that is my honest review, and I will be forwarding um, my suggestions onto the vendor, and hopefully version 2 can be a perfect product. I, I can't wait to see what they do with this. So for now, guys, hope that answers some of your questions about, no, I really don't have a camera guy that follows me around the woods. Um, sometimes I really wish because it would make my life a whole lot easier, but I do enjoy filming this for you guys. Um, if you have any questions about either one of these products, either the X-Shot or the Levin Selfie Stick, don't hesitate to ask. Add me on Facebook, comment below, uh, check out some of my other videos, and I hope this helps someone, guys. Thanks for watching.